Daniel Black. I am half of Black and Bloom, and together with Martin Bloom, who's my business partner, we design houseware products. We design uh, doorstops, bookends, coat hooks, magazine racks, uh, anything we think we have a good idea for. This is the ICFF Trade Fair, and uh, it's been a very good show. We've had one, one and a half days, and we've launched some uh, two brand new products, and they've had an amazing reaction. So this is the Hot Pot Barbecue. It uh, looks like a standard plant pot, but actually the top is quite shallow, but enough that you could actually plant your herbs. So you fill the top with soil and then plant your herbs, and then you use the herbs to season the food that you grill underneath. So inside you've got some tongs. You take the tongs out, so we use these for barbecuing. Fill it up with charcoal. This acts like a chimney effect, so you get air being sucked in through the hole and then up through here, so the charcoal gets very, very hot, burns very, very well. You put the top on, and this is very, very high quality stainless steel, so it's not going to rust, it's very thick, so it won't deform with heat. Put that on, and then it's perfect for barbecuing. It works very well. This looks like terracotta, but it's actually all pressed steel, so the ash will drop through to the bottom, so it's very nice for cleaning and <laughs> this is steel with a ceramic coat it's a ceramic paint which helps insulate against the heat yeah it's a very high quality paint but it's uh, it's designed for high temperatures they use uh, ceramic paint on uh, anything that's exposed to high temperature elements so yeah it's perfect for because this does will get hot but it's actually fine with this paint and the top just goes back on so um, compare with the, uh, the, the barbecue device yes uh, this is very different to other barbecues most barbecues you will only use for a small amount of time during the year and so when you're not using it the barbecue uh, looks like a barbecue. The nice thing about this is when you're not using it, it looks like a plant pot, so it's very decorative to have on your roof terrace or balcony or... So what, what is the price compared to the other... Other products? Uh, this is uh, it's retailing for $124, so it's, um, it's a very good price. It's got, no, it's a good price. It has very uh, high quality materials, stainless steel and yeah. So we started with the uh, lunch box, which was very good for salad and uh, lots of different types of food. Then we had the bento box, which is more aimed at sushi or uh, a single portion of food. And the lunch pot is the latest in the range, and that's aimed more at uh, uh, soup and noodles, uh, casserole, rice, pasta, that kind of thing. You've got a carry strap handle, so it's very easy for carrying. On the side, you've got a spork. So you take that out, that's a spoon and a fork. So you've got a little fork area here. So if you've got noodles, you can twist that in and scoop up your noodles. And then to release it, what you do is pull the straps down, unclip the top, and you've got two separate watertight compartments. So you can have your super noodles in here, or a fruit salad, or a, a drink in here. Untwist the top, and it's got a very minimal thread on the inside. And that makes it nicer to eat from, and very easy to clean. You've also got a fluid ounce measuring volume control running down the inside. So you can measure certain quantities of water. And what's, this is also the same sort of twist top mechanism. Mm -hmm. And what's nice, is that you can uh, actually put that inside here like that when you're finished. Put the top on. And they're ready to go. To save the space. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, to me, the bento box is quite eastern, and uh, this is quite western. So, where is the, the influence? Uh, target market? I the think. Yes. I think. Um, obviously, certain markets have uh, have eat certain foods, but the the world is becoming very small, and people like uh, eating different foods from different cultures. 
this was very much inspired by sort of more the Asian, the Japanese bento box markets. Um, but this, is, I think, has more inspiration almost from the Indian tiffin boxes, where they have food stacked on top of each other. Um, I think what we are doing differently to other companies is looking at the adult markets. Traditionally, children have lunch boxes and adults have uh, food containers. And this is trying to address the fact that adults can take their lunch to work as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, there's so many different aspects to the, the lunch box or the lunch pot. Uh, you know where the food comes from, so you can choose your organic food. Mm -hmm. And if you eat uh, takeaway food from a, from a, a cafe, so uh, basically you're saving on that. And, um, <clears throat> so um, I have a question: Is is this plastic goes into the steam cooker? <laughs> steam cooker. Steam cooker. No, no, no it's not. A, it's, it's microwavable. Okay. So it's microwave safe. Okay. And dishwasher safe. Okay. But not for, you shouldn't cook in it. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, curious. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I think uh, last year I came here. I saw this product. That was the first year, right? Yes. Uh huh. And uh, so how? How, uh, how is the sale? Over, uh, it's been amazing. amazing. It's been uh, very, very well received. Mm -hmm. Not This was uh, too big for the Japanese market, mm -hmm. but this one is much better received in Japanese markets. Uh -huh. um, people who uh, have been using it love it. Okay. They, uh, and they tell their friends about it, and people mm -hmm. can see them using it every day and taking their lunch to work. Mm -hmm. and, and then they also find this one very useful. So I think people who buy this product will buy this one and this one. And they really enjoy using it. So, uh -huh. so uh, how many countries do you sell to? In this product, I think about 30 countries. 30? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, mostly Western world? Or it, is most, Eastern? it is mostly Europe and, uh, and the US. Uh -huh. um, but it's, this, is starting to, this is doing very well in Australia. Okay. And uh, it's starting to basically yeah, spread. And I think in also in Japan, it's starting to take okay. off as well. And so I have another question. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, you uh, design a lot of device, and are you a design company or are you a manufacturer company? We do everything. So uh, we don't manufacture ourselves, but we find factories who can help us manufacture. Mm -hmm. So we will uh, design. Um, we design everything. Yet. Martin and I design everything ourselves, mm -hmm. and then we find the right factory who can produce it. Mm -hmm. So that means across the world, the manufacturer? Yes. Uh -huh. We have manufacture a lot in Taiwan. Okay. This is made in Taiwan. Okay. Wow. In Taipei. Taipei. Yes. Okay, cool. By a very uh, high-tech company who mm -hmm. also, um, they, they produce products for Apple. Okay. Uh, very, very high-tech and uh, very good injection molders. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So it's not a plastic company, but uh, yes. high-tech company? Yes. Very high-tech, yeah. Because oh, okay. wow. a big... There's a big difference between bad quality injection molding and high quality injection molding. Okay, so the quality for electronics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So I, will not, I want to ask you because uh, you have been participating in the ICFF yes. and uh, over the years, what do you see the. What is your observation of the show? and? Uh, how well? More sustainable. There's mm -hmm. more products which are using materials which are sustainable. Um, some very good uh, wooden products around, which uh, you know, sort of exploring different ways of using wood, and uh, um, the lighting is very good this year. Lighting, yeah. Okay. yeah. New LED lights, which are coming out of Taiwan. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So thank you for uh, welcome. Interviewed. Yes. Thank and, you. Uh, have a good show. Thank you very much.